Donc ce matin, je m'adresse aux amateurs. This morning, I'm addressing photography lovers as I take you to the discovery of the Lagos Photo Festival, the first and only international arts festival of photography that has been held in Lagos for several years now by the African Artist Foundation. For a month, the festival hosts exhibitions, workshops, and conferences, and discussions around African photography, with a special highlight on African artistic diversity, but also on local talents. This is explained by. By Valentin Omansky, one of the four curators of this year's edition. The message of the festival is to show the artistic and photographic diversity of African artists and the African diaspora, but also to show the international photographic scene in Nigeria. To give Nigerian artists an access to international artistic production. Nigeria is one of the most creative countries today, and this has been proven since in our research we've met a lot of extremely creative artists. But by the time the festival was created, there was a need. There was no festival of this magnitude in Lagos, and it was important to give this visibility to Nigerians. For its ninth edition, the festival explores how the past, the present, and the future collide. Through this theme, time has gone, which literally translates to time has passed. But here the expression takes a whole new meaning. In Nigeria, it is an idiom that has a specific meaning and that refers to anything that is pressing. For example, one will hop in a taxi and say, I have to go fast, time has gone. It means I'm in a hurry. So we also wanted to talk about that, not only the notion of the past, far behind us, but also a sort of look towards the future. Pressing issues such as that of women empowerment and their place on the artistic and cultural scene, a question emphasized by the four curators of this year's edition, four women from different backgrounds who which in their own way brought a female perspective to the festival. One of the matters we wanted to talk about was the systematic inequality that exists between men and women, and more generally on gender issues. In this edition, we quite actively tried to change the demographic situation of cultural events, which presents a majority of men. So in this edition, we have about 75% women, and we're giving them a space to express themselves. The curatorial team that we have this year, and which is quite diverse itself, has allowed us to address the vision that we can have of an African continent from four different outlooks. And rather than trying to give a similar perspective, we tried to keep our uniqueness. Two of the curators are of African descent. Two other curators have spent a lot of time there and still live there. Different versions of Africa because in the end the Lagos Photo Festival aims to build a community of storytellers using the medium of photography to shape a new narrative around the continent far from the pessimistic or miserable one usually portrayed. The photos that you see scrolling on your screen have been exhibited in previous editions. The ninth edition will take place from the 27th of October to the November to November 15th. More than 25 photographers and visual artists coming from Madagascar, Ghana, Tunisia, and even Germany will confront the vision of time passing and pressing. Ils viendront y confronter leur vision du temps qui passe et du temps qui presse. Et puis, pour les photographes, I will conclude with a special call to all documentary photographers. If you'd like to submit your portfolio for the Lagos Photo Portfolio Review Award and potentially become a National Geographic photographer with a $5,000 reward, you can send your PDF portfolio to the email address that appears on your screen, lpreview at africanartist.org. You have until October 10. And just a reminder, the contest is open to all photographers from Africa and in the diaspora. I wish you all the best. For the rest, if you are passionate about African photography or if I simply manage to stir your curiosity, know that the book collection of the most beautiful photo of the Lagos Photo Festival was published for the fifth anniversary of the event. The name is Africa under the prison.
Buddhism. This beautiful copy was kindly given to me by Azun Wagbebu, the festival's founder. It also contains texts by Azu herself, but also Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, among others. So, if you want to get it, it's available on the website of the African Artists Foundation. Un exemplaire, il est disponible sur le site de l'African Artist Foundation. Merci beaucoup. <rire> je vous en prie, Alors, bien, de Alors, je veux bien je vous laisser, mais il faut vous me le rendre à la fin parce que j'y tiens beaucoup. Vous ne me le donnez pas Non, je ne le donne pas. <rire> Merci à tous les deux. Merci également à vous qui avez été Thank avec nous. Merci à tous pour être avec nous ce matin. See you next time. Je suis Bridget Ogwe.